What's good, y'all? First off, I want to say Happy New Year to everybody. I hope everybody have a successful, great year. No drama, all positivity. And I just hope this year is a, is a great year for everybody. So, so every new year, I ask y'all to uh, send me questions so I can answer them. And it's that time again. So the first question is from Tate the Great 21. What do you want to change from 2016 to make your 2017 better? Mostly my personality, not like how I am as a person, but like communication wise. Cause I don't, I don't really go to people. I don't really talk to people. Like I can't really meet new people cause I don't know how to talk to people. So that's something that I want to change actually from all the years of my life not just 2016 so yeah that's uh that's really the, the main thing that i want to change to me i think i'm saying the right says what's your favorite tv show my name is barry allen and i am the fastest man alive y'all yeah, should really watch it carissa said as you look back on 2016 do you have any regrets or things you would have done differently so I got so many regrets and a lot of things that I would do differently, but I can't speak on that right now. <laughs> Cause yeah, I'll be, yeah, let, let's just not talk about that. Just know there's a lot of things that I would change. Jada.baby says, how old are you? I'm 20. Blashful Alexis says, once your channel gets huge, will you explore different business ventures? Um, I would really love to. Working with like other film companies or like companies dealing with YouTube or whatever, I would love to do that because that would just like, that would help me out like communication wise. I can meet new people, I can collaborate with different people and I can even, I can build my channel even more. So of course I would I would love to do that. Daniel.Chenby says, when am I going to be featured in your videos? You ain't never hit me up. Like I'm always needing people in for videos and stuff. So you can hit me up anytime, bro. The Bam says, it's a long one too, so. It's going to take a while. What are you going to do more vlogs? First question. I would vlog with this camera, but I don't want to carry around this big old DSLR because I don't trust people in Miami and I don't need nothing happening to me. So as soon as I get a GoPro, then I'll start back uh, with the vlogging. The second question is, what is the next web series after 30 reasons that you have in store? And would it be drama, romance, and etc.? I haven't thought that far yet. I'm gonna be completely honest. I ain't even think about 30 reasons right now. I don't even know if I want to do a web series after 30 reasons. It'll probably be like a long time from now because 30 reasons was stressful to record and direct. The next question from the BAMs is, would you make any hats and or shirts with your YouTube logo or with your web series? I mean, I already got some shirts out. It's on the, the link is going to be in the description below. The website that I use, they don't make the kind of hats that I want to sell. So hats, probably not. The next question from the BAMs is, any New Year's resolution? Of course. My New Year's resolution is to communicate, learn how to communicate more, uh, learn how to make friends, learn how to talk to people and all that. And just like try to build my channel like a lot more because this, this year I'm just focusing on YouTube. The last question from her is, anything on your bucket list that you want to accomplish in 2017? I want to reach 50,000 subscribers. I know that's like a long way from now, but at the rate that I'm going, I could probably do it. If I be consistent with it, I can I can do it. I know I can. Lenny DeBoo says, are you interested in being a movie writer or a director someday? I would, I do, I kind of do. But I want to be more of a, a, a director than a writer because writing, it, it's a lot of stress. Like it really is. Bow Down Is Miller says, what motivated you to start YouTube? I don't know if it was motivation, but it was just, I wanted to, to have a voice. I wanted to give my opinions on different topics and just try to help people out. I've been through a lot of stuff and uh, I know other people are gonna go through the same stuff I go through. So I wanna give them a heads up before they actually go through it. Tarian, Tarian Morgan, I don't know if I'm saying your name right. Let me know. Says, when the last time you got in trouble in elementary school? I think like third grade like in third grade I, I said i said the word hunch and i almost got a referral for that but i ain't get a referral because you know i don't get referrals i never got a referral i always got out of that stuff because look at my face i'm innocent uh kiki watson says can you start doing live streams again um yes i can i recently fixed my problem with the live stream so i can start with the live streams again Kiki Watson also asks, can you explain what is going on with the whole delete vid and 30 reasons? Because I'm very concerned. Oh, man. 
listen, this is the last time I want to talk about this because I don't want to bring this in 2017. They ain't in it no more. I ain't worried about them. They probably ain't worried about me. So I just want to like get off this. But since you asked, I'm going to give you the short version. Aaliyah said I was talking shit about her. There was no proof being shown, and I know I wasn't. To make it even shorter, Travis, Jamal, and Kimberly left because they all believed her because they were friends with her before me, and uh, she wanted me to delete the uh, scenes that she was in, and I wasn't going to do that because, um, yeah, that's that's not fair to me. So they left. I don't want to talk about this no more. Like, I'm gonna leave it alone. Just Boogie One says, "Hey, what it do, bruh? They ain't do nothing." I see you doing your thing, keep it up. But my question is, why are you doing what you're doing like with YouTube and everything? What's your end goal for this? But yeah, stay up. Yeah, bro, stay up. I'm doing YouTube because I wanna help people, like I said. And I use YouTube as like a, like a, a venting place for me. Like whenever I'm going through something, it's the perfect place for me to like vent or I can like make a video about what I'm going through and it can also be entertaining, so it's it's perfect i just i just want to have a voice and i just want to prove people wrong people who who are doubting me and stuff i want to prove them wrong that i can actually be somebody and i can actually be su be successful and um also i want to prove to myself that i am great and I'm talented as hell and i can do this i can like be a big youtuber i can be a youtuber with a million subscribers and all that princess ari says do you have a girlfriend and if you do what is her name I don't know her name. I I wish I knew her name, but no, I ain't, I don't have a girlfriend. If any girl watching this and you were around the age of 20, you could probably be my girlfriend. But anyways, uh, Nate Got Him Hating says, how long have you been doing YouTube? This will be my third year doing this. Ethio Mercy says, what's your plan for 2017? My plan for 2017 is gain more subscribers, make more videos, make a ton of videos, make a lot of videos, collaborate with a lot of people, um, give others opportunity to be in my videos. Cause that's really what I wanna do. I wanna, see what I'm saying like, okay, I need girls for my skits, I need guys for my skits. I don't care if you don't know how to act. I just, just, just be in a video. That's all you gotta do. You ain't gotta learn how to, you ain't gotta know how to act. You gotta be an actress or actor. You could, you could just, just be in a video. My Asia Hanks says, what inspired you to start writing 30 Reasons? I really wanted to do a web series. I ain't know what to call it. Like 30 Reasons, that took me a long time to come up with. Cause I ain't wanted to be like a typical name that you just watch or whatever. I came up with 30 Reasons because I wanted to make 30 episodes, 10 episodes per season. And every, every episode is like a reason for that episode. Aaron Daniel says, what inspired you to do YouTube? I kind of answered that already, so. ATL Re One says, "How old was you when you first started your YouTube channel?" I was 17. Kayla Parker says, "Are you a senior in college?" No, I'm not in college. I'm not in college right now. And if I was, I'd be a junior. Bad thing 18 says, "When are you gonna start back vlogging?" I answered this already. Um, when I get a GoPro. Ella Navarro says, "What is your inspiration for your for your videos? Whether it's 30 Reasons skits, story times, etc." Yeah, like I said previously, I just, I, I I go through stuff and I make a skit out of it. I make a story time out of it. Um, with 30 Reasons, it's just coming up with different stuff that happens with young people every day. It's just trying to bring reality to YouTube. That's really my my um, my inspiration for making videos, bringing whatever reality to the internet, to my channel. Brighton A. Heath says, what is your opinion about the Drake and J-Lo thing? I don't really care. Yeah, ain't got nothing to do with me. Princess Ari also asks, how long did you want to be a YouTuber? It's really when I first started, cause before I started, I wasn't really, I wasn't thinking about making YouTube videos. Like I was, but the month before, like the month right before I started, of course, but before that, no, I wasn't ever thinking about being a YouTuber. Is Vanessa back here says, how old are you? I'm 20. 20. Hayden, the man says, can you please react to my vids? Listen, bro, I don't, I don't uh, react to videos. Like, I don't see the point of it. Last question. EFC says, who are your favorite YouTubers and why? My favorite YouTubers is Far Entertainment. And they're my favorite because they videos are like different. Like they, they're hilarious. Like their vlogs are like, the best vlogs you ever you ever watch and they skits there the skips are always on point they also inspired me to like continue youtube because 
they got so successful with it and it's like shoot i want that too so yeah that is the end of my uh q a hope y'all enjoyed it um there's really nothing else for me to say but y'all know i'm back like i keep saying i'm back but i'm back like i'm here more videos coming soon it's still road to 10k then after that it's gonna be road to 50k y'all just stick with me on this journey y'all uh y'all keep watching me y'all keep sharing happy new year and if y'all still ain't listening